Uh, two weeks ago, we hear in the gospel that Jesus went to Nazareth, to his naughty place, to see his mom. And also, he went to the synagogue, and when he was preaching in the synagogue, as soon as he started the teaching, the people didn't want to listen to Jesus anymore. They basically rejected his teaching, the new teaching of Jesus, the teaching that God loves sinners, that God loves everyone. They were not agreeing with Jesus, so they're rejecting his teaching and rejected Jesus as well. Um, sometimes uh, um, it can be discouraging uh, to preach or to bring the good news to other people because sometimes people do not want to receive it, do, do not want to accept it. So the disciples of Jesus, the twelve, they didn't get discouraged by that. They continue to preach the good news. Jesus sent them. That's what, that's what we hear in last week in the gospel. That Jesus sent the twelve to preach and to announce the good news. And today we hear when they return from that preaching. And they are all excited because uh, they were able to expel demons. So they get with Jesus and they are so excited. Uh, Luke, the other gospel, is telling us that their faces were shining. They were filled with joy because they were able to see what the work of God in the people. The good things that they were working for them. So they are so excited and they are telling Jesus, relating to Jesus, everything that they were doing, what they were teaching. And Jesus is rejoicing with them because people receive the message, the good news. We have been entrusted with the same mission to preach the good news. And we too need to go to Jesus and tell him, you know, what we have done. It's good to tell the Lord Jesus that we have expelled demons in his name as well. What do I mean by expelling demons? Well, whenever we take away anything that dehumanizes the, the person, the human being, any time that we drive away evil, every time that we don't criticize, every time that we make ourselves present, serving, uh, when we take away any hatred, when we fight against the wars and we try to bring peace, whenever we are not selfish and we try to do good to other people, that's the way that we are driving out demons in our midst, in the society. And that's the question that we are to ask ourselves. What do I bring to my family? Because we are called to drive out demons but sometimes we might be the ones bringing the demons to the family by the vision of many other things. So we are to drive away demons, anything that is not good, to take it out. And we ponder sometimes why people are not receiving the message. Or sometimes we can accommodate the good news to our own way. We can justify ourselves and say, well, Jesus is too good, too merciful, so I'm sure this is fine. And then sometimes we can uh, deform the gospel. And we can deform it according to our own thinking, our own ideas. So we are to, to confront ourselves with the gospel as it is. And to accept the gospel as Jesus has taught it. Just to embrace the gospel, the good news. So the Jesus, Jesus is able to see that his disciples are tired. They have been working so hard. So now there are a lot of people who he is taking them to be with himself to a deserted place. So they need to go. It's not about going on vacation, but it is about going and staying with the Lord Jesus to learn from him, to listen to him. He was taking his disciples sometimes and he was teaching them by themselves. We are the disciples of Jesus and we are to listen to him, to have some time in prayer. The certain place, the translation is a hermit. 
to go to the desert to be with the Lord. That's the word that's being used in the gospel today. It's deserted place to be with God in prayer. Prayer is so important because sometimes we are so busy by many things and we can experience the frustration of everything that is going on, on, that is going on in our lives, the difficult moments that we have to face, the stress, the busyness of our work, and it's okay to leave the people sometimes and to be with the Lord by ourselves. And that's when we had to tell the Lord Jesus, well, I got mad with my boss. I cannot stand my boss. And then he will tell you what to do. Oh, you're struggling in a, in a relationship with your wife, your husband, or your girlfriend, boyfriend. And you tell the Lord, this is what I'm struggling with. And then something happens, and, and we know the Lord. He always speaks to us. We know what is in his heart. And he always speaks to us and tells us what to do. The danger is that sometimes if we don't spend that time with the Lord, we can follow our own desires. And then we can be dehumanized. And we can lose that tune with the Lord. And we can push the Lord aside. So that's why it's important that we go and pray and spend time with the Lord. To stay with Him. So Jesus is taking all the twelve into the boat. And that's where He's uh, with them. That's a moment of encounter or prayer. It's a, a sponsor um, relationship. It's not um, just... Um, um, because they are doing the work. No, it's, it's, a, a, it's a relationship that is very close, intimate with the Lord, listening to Him, speaking to Him. And we all need that time with the Lord. So they are in the boat, and then people are looking for And they are looking for Him. Sometimes we want to find that meaning in our lives. And we don't know what, where to go. And if we don't go to Christ, that's why we can end in other, you know, some uh, other teachings or some other philosophies that are out there. Sometimes the New Age. Sometimes uh, esotericism. Sometimes uh, other things. So the idols. So that's, a, that's why it's important that we go to the Lord Jesus so we can find that meaning in our lives. We are longing for something. And that's why all these people are going around the lake. They want to see the Lord Jesus. And that's what we need in our lives. So finally, Jesus make it to, to, to the ground. And uh, he sees all these people. He's able to see the needs of the people. He sees them because they are people like sheep without a shepherd. That's where he sees the needs of the people. And then he disembarks. He gets out of the boat. Sometimes we are afraid when we see a need. We are afraid to do something. Well, we have to take the step and do something when there is a need. And that's what Jesus does. He disembarks. He is able to step out of the boat. Sometimes we can't feel so secure in the boat. But we need to take the step and go out and do something, something good. So his heart is moved with pity and compassion. The translation is that he's moved all the way uh, to his guts. Um, but uh, the translation is... is uh, um, is using the, the womb. So it's a, 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 the love of a mother, the passionate love of a mother for, a, for, for her child. That's the description that we hear in the gospel. That's the love of God for us. He's moved all the way to the womb like a, like a mother who is passionate for her child. That's the love of God for all of us. And that's why he wants to be there with them. He wants to address their needs. Make himself present to them. 
people today are longing for, for love. And sometimes uh, we don't step and we don't do anything about it. Mother Teresa of Calcutta, um, she came to the United States and she went to a, a nursing home and she was there with people, the elderly, and uh, she said that she noticed that they were not smiling. She said the only time when they were smiling was when I was touching them, when I was close to them. And I noticed that they were always looking to the door. So I asked the nurse, she said, why they were looking to the door. And she said, the nurse said, because they are waiting for someone from the family to come. They are waiting for a card or for something that will make them feel that they are loved. And that's what people need today. And that's where we need to step in and do something about it. In our families, uh, we do what we can. That's the step that we have to take. We ask the Lord to help us to, to see the needs uh, in our families, in those who are close to us. And then to step in to do something, to look at God, look at us with love. To see the, the needs and, and respond to them. That's the way that, that, that we spell out demons. That we bring the good news of the gospel to other people. May the Lord give us that grace. Amen.